Show me a successful individual and I'll show you someone who had real positive influences in his or her life. I don't care what you do for a living, if you do it well, I'm sure there was someone cheering you on or showing the way. A mentor, Denzel Washington. Hi everyone, my name is Gail and I am a Youth Lead member. In today's video, we're going to share with you what mentorship is all about, what makes it so valuable, and all the common questions that young people will come and ask about this topic. You might wonder why we're devoting time to talking about this. So, great news! We're launching the Youth Lead Mentorship page and it has four focus areas. Finding a mentor, being a mentor, mentorship as a subject, and links to partner organizations and other mentorship organizations. And in today's video, we're going to have our amazing mentee mentor, Edna, share about all of these subjects, how she found a mentor, how she became one herself, what mentorship means to her, and any organizations that have helped her on her mentorship journey. Edna is a young changemaker from Kenya. Besides being an international development specialist with six years old of experience, she is a mentorship lead for the Wapituali Youth Advisory Group. Everyone, please welcome Edna. Hi, Edna. Hi, everyone. Jumbo. So, if you were to define what mentorship is all about to someone who's never heard about it, what would you say? Mentorship for me means influencing someone's life towards achieving their own potential. Wow, that is such a great way to define it. Thank you so much, Edna. All right, there's a lot of uh, research around mentorship. How has mentorship impacted you personally, you know, both in the form of giving and receiving mentorship. Receiving mentorship actually made a huge difference in my life because I'm the first in my family to get a university degree and I did not have someone to look up to. My mentor came into my life as my role model, my coach and my guide and my friend until today. In terms of supporting those receiving mentorship, I'm very happy to transfer the same skills that I received and additional experience and knowledge that I have gained over the years to influence another person's life positively, to help them to grow and to fulfill their own potential. So I have mentored girls in primary school, in secondary school, and currently girls in uh, the MasterCard Foundation program who are in um, university and they're doing great things. So I'm, I'm acting as their guiding light, their coach, counselor, and their friend. And I communicate and uh, just guide them towards fulfilling their potential. And also, I have informal mentorship with um, younger people that I have engaged with in various um, areas of life that uh, I help in various things, like especially young leaders who are running impact organizations. I'm, I'm a mentor to, to some of them. That's absolutely amazing. All right. I know that a lot of people are transitioning from being a mentee to becoming a mentor, just like yourself. Would you mind sharing a little bit about how that went for you? I transitioned pretty fast from being a mentee into a mentor. When I graduated uh, university with my undergraduate in 2014, I became a mentor to a girl who was in primary school at the time at the Kakenya Center of Excellence in Kenya and started guiding her through her journey. So since then I have been a mentor in those two formal setups and even when I joined the MasterCard Foundation uh, mentoring program, it's a formal program where I've been mentoring girls in the in the program. So the, the transition was quite rapid for me but I think it's, it's natural that uh, that happened because I really wanted to give back I realized the value of mentorship in my life to impact the next generation of those who were coming up to me. Wow. Can we actually go back to when you found your first mentor? How did that go? I know that a lot of people are looking for a mentor. And do you have some tips for them? Let's say your top do's and don'ts. I would advise young people who are seeking mentors to first set a goal for 
themselves or a vision for what they want to achieve. This way, it will be easy to identify a mentor who can support them towards these goals. However, for young people, sometimes it's not easy to be very clear on what they want to achieve. And this is where mentorship comes in. So the mentor will come in to guide this person towards the best ways to navigate their decisions, their actions towards realizing their own goals. So the first step is to identify your own vision and goals and then identify what sort of person or what sort of mentorship you need in your life. Then going after it, whether formally or informally. Some of the do's of good mentoring is uh, communication. As a mentor myself, I communicate with my mentees uh, twice a month or more so there's a lot of time involved in mentoring other than communication there's openness so I, I would encourage mentees and mentors to be very open and vulnerable with sharing about issues this way it's easier to establish a connection and a relationship and actually get to the root cause or what drives someone what they're passionate about and it's easier to guide them from this point. Some of the don'ts of mentoring I would advise mentees to maintain um, boundaries. So a mentee uh, should ensure that they do not use the mentor's contacts for um, like financial gains or misuse uh, the relationship for something else other than what it was meant for. So one of the important aspects of keeping a great mentoring relationship is respect and communication and also openness to just build a great relationship and a great friendship. Thank you so much for sharing all these great tips, Edna. Now with all of this in mind, how did yourself become a mentor? I first became a mentor when I graduated um, university with my bachelor's. This was in 2014. I became a mentor for a girl who was in primary school in class 7. Currently, she is pursuing nursing. In 2019, I started mentoring university students as part of the Mastercard Foundation Scholars Mentoring Program. Additionally, I mentor girls from my former high school in Kenya. Uh, one of them just graduated uh, high school and she's uh, going to university. And uh, other than that, I continue to mentor young people in my circles. For example, uh, young people who have been through the Young African Leaders Initiative. Some of them are my friends and I still provide mentorship for them. What are some of the things that you did not expect, you know, when you first became a mentor? I think one of the things I might not have expected uh, from um, becoming a mentor, becoming a formal mentor to someone is a commitment. Most of uh, the time I have to communicate twice a month to my mentees and this is in deep issues. So they have issues about school, about home, about their own life because they're young people growing up and they need a lot of advice. So I also take time to do research, to get information, to just speak to them on the areas of their interest. A relationship, a one-on-one -on -one relationship with someone as a mentor, it requires more connection, more understanding and building a relationship and seeing the journey of someone through. So it can be a year, I think, or more, uh, just influencing the person's life and seeing how uh, they're creating change for themselves, they're growing, they're blossoming, and they're fulfilling their potential. I think you just mentioned such an important point about the importance of time commitment for the mentor. Now I want to talk a little bit about the mentee. Would you actually mind sharing the story of someone whose life has partly changed thanks to your support as a mentor? One of my mentees from the Mastercard Foundation, actually uh, she was doing computer science, she graduated, then she got uh, like three job offers and she was very uncertain on which one to take. She's very passionate about technology, but she's also passionate about giving back. 
and she was confused like do i go into giving back directly or do i go and take a formal job so as a mentor who had been in a similar situation before i advised her that you know since your giving back is actually connected to to technology and you want to work in technology you could do both you could find a way to do both you could register your organization at the same time you can take the job and gain skills and uh, work with other people to run your organization if possible and later in life you could transition fully into your giving back um, impact organization so she was very happy with this and she she was very happy that i took an interest and i was actually like a sounding board of what she was thinking she told me she was doing great and I'm very proud of her. She's very outgoing. She went to France for summer school. She's really smart. So I'm happy that I'm part of her journey, just helping her fulfill her already existing potential. I'm just a guiding light. I'm just a support system for her. So I'm happy to influence her life in that way. Your input is so valuable. So thank you so much. So much appreciated, Edna. So before we wrap it up, do you have like a couple of organizations, uh, whether it's like in your region or globally, that you would recommend for those who are looking for a mentor? Some of the great organizations that I would recommend for someone to join. One is the Youth Lead Mentoring Platform, which we just launched in June 2021. I became an advisor for the Youth Lead Mentoring Platform um, last year july and uh, it's a great place that uh, will provide resources for mentors and for young people seeking mentorship second is the mastercard foundation scholars mentoring platform and third is a global give back circle mentoring program for girls in kenya and in other countries in africa again thank you so much for your time and for your valuable advice i'm really hoping that everyone here could gain the value of what Edna shared with her story today. Guys, if like Edna, you want to be the guiding light, be a support system for someone and influence their life that way, we invite you to visit the Youth Lead Mentorship page and get your journey started there.